In the year 2000, we looked at the resumes, the CVs, of the 11 members of the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee. Six of them had economic links to the meat industry, the dairy industry, the egg industry. We sued in U.S. District Court, and they had their attorneys, we had one, but it helps when you're right. And the judge looked at us and said, you are absolutely right. Uh, the guidelines that were developed were, they conflicted with federal law. Since that time, the process has opened up, but it is still a political football. Every five years, when the government changes the dietary guidelines for Americans, they have hearings where people show up saying, you've got to have meat for iron, you've got to have dairy for calcium. And as the other speakers were coming up, I was making a note. Here's somebody from the meat industry, another person from the meat industry, somebody from dairy, another one from the meat industry, somebody from eggs, somebody from liquor. It was amazing. Everybody wants to push their products, despite the fact that research shows that those products really lead us to ill health. They, they are not protecting health at all. This is tough for the policymakers to be able to stick just to the science, which is what counts.